Don't, don't, Galloway. Obama, come here. You see this guy behind us? I have a strong feeling that he's definitely homosexual. <laughs> no, of no, course, nice, of huh? course. No. <laughs> I mean, it's totally no. gay. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Filosco here. You know that American dude with the incredible mood? That's me. And today, we're going to have a lesson on phrasal verbs. I've given many videos on phrasal verbs, and this video here is just a continuation of those videos. So, so far together, we've learned about what? 80 phrasal verbs. Now we're going to get to some more. So why waste time? Let's get to it. Today, we're going to learn four phrasal verbs. And the first phrasal verb that we're going to learn to understand for today is to tag along. Now, what does it mean to tag along? Well, to tag along means to accompany someone, especially when you are not invited by the person you are accompanying. So for example, let's say me and you, we meet somewhere. I'm here in Yekaterinburg. Let's pretend you're in Yekaterinburg. We meet somewhere in Yekaterinburg and you say, wow, Filochko, it's good to see you. Where are you going? And I tell you, hey man, you know, I'm going right now, I'm gonna go to the movies. You would be able to say to me, hey Filochko, is it cool if I tag along with you to the movies? Can I tag along? That means can you accompany me? Now maybe I'll say yes, and maybe I won't. But the point is if you ask me if you could tag along with me, I would understand you. Another example, sometimes I may see people that I haven't seen in a long time. And I will say, hey Jerry, where are you going? Jerry's like, I'm going to the park. And I'm gonna say, hey man, I know you don't mind if I tag along because I really miss you. That means to accompany someone without being invited. It's kind of a way of politely inviting yourself when you ask someone if you can tag along. Now, they're not always going to say yes, but you can definitely try, okay? So that is the first one, simple one. Now let's get to the second one. And the second one we're going to learn for today is to take it out on someone. This one is very, very common. When you're taking something out on someone, you're basically abusing somebody because you're angry. You're misdirecting your anger. So let's say, let's have an example. Let's say my wife divorced me. I'm not married, but let's just pretend. Let's pretend I had a wife and she divorced me. She doesn't want to be with me anymore. So I'm angry, I'm very, very mad. So as I go outside, I see someone looking at me. I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? Don't look at me, don't look at me. That means I am taking it out on him. That means I am using him to direct my anger. He didn't do anything to me. He's a nice guy to some guy in the street, but if I'm yelling at him because I'm angry, it's me taking it out on him. That's usually how we use it. So if you have a best friend whose girlfriend left him, your best friend, his girlfriend left him, but he's yelling at you about it, just say, whoa, bro, don't take it out on me. That had nothing to do with me. You need to probably go yell at her. Please don't take it out on me. That's how it's used, when you direct your anger towards basically the wrong source. That's when you're taking it out on someone. Now, you can take it out on something, like when a lot of people are mad, they punch the wall. So if you're one of those people who get mad and punch the wall, I can say, whoa, dude, don't take it out on the wall. The wall did nothing to you. That could work as well, okay? There you go, that's two. Hope I explained it well. Now, let's get to the third one. And the third one we're going to learn for today is to talk down to someone. Now, what does it mean to talk down to someone? Well, basically, when you talk down to someone, you're speaking to them as if you're showing your superiority. You're not really talking to them with respect. You're speaking to them like they're little kids or they mean nothing to you. For example, some teachers are mean. I'm not, you know, come on. Yeah, I know I'm not mean. But some teachers are mean and they will tell you things like, learn your phrasal verb, learn your idioms, learn it, learn it, because I said so, you better learn it. That's kind of talking down to you because they're not trying to talk to you as an adult or a mature person. They're speaking to you as if you are nothing. That's talking down to someone. Best example is the police in prison. When they have to take care of the prisoners and make sure the prisoners do what they have to do, a lot of times they have to talk down to them. Get out of your bed, get out of your bed, put your clothes on, take your clothes off. They have to because they have to show superiority. This is the best example of talking down to somebody. But if you're not in prison, the person's your friend, the person's your student, or the person's your teacher, you shouldn't talk down to them. You should just speak to them as if they are a regular person who deserves the same amount of respect as you do, okay? And that is the third one, to talk down to someone. So now let's get to the fourth and last one for today. And the fourth and last one for today is 
To talk one into something. Now, what does it mean to talk somebody into something? Well, when you talk someone into something, you basically convince them. You convince them to do something. Like, I've been talked into things many times. For example, uh, I'm in Russia right now. The first person to talk me into coming to Russia was a company. Well, it wasn't a person. It was a company in Vladivostok. They talked me into coming to Russia because before that, I was always like, nah, nah, Russia's not for me. You know, I'm black, I'm American, I ain't going over there. Yeah, I ain't going over there. But then he gave me an offer and he talked me into it. That means he convinced me. So, another example. Let's say this is your first video watching of mine. This is the first video that you ever saw of mine. First philosophical video. And I wanted to talk you into subscribing. I would say, please subscribe. You're going to learn a whole lot more, especially if you like phrasal verbs, slang, idioms, a few things on grammar, pronunciation, common mistakes, you should subscribe to my channel. That's me trying to talk you into subscribing to my channel. So, hope you got it. That is our fourth and last one for today, so you guys know what that means. And so that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash philosophical. That's me. But more importantly, subscribe to my YouTube page because all of my videos are there. This is very important. I'm trying to talk you into it. Subscribe right here. We're at 82,000. I can't wait to reach 100,000, but I need your help. And that's basically it, people. Right now, I'm in Yekaterinburg. Then I will be in Moscow. Then I will be in Tula. Then I will be in uh, Moscow, Tula, then Lipsk, okay? And if you want to invite me to your city, just message me on Contacte or send me an email. All of the information is in the description, okay? So, that's it. You know what the guy says at the end of my videos. And don't be racist. <laughs> So don't be ri that is his catchphrase.